The vehicle is in good technical condition. The rocket is as well. The weather is also fine. We are going to check it two hours prior to launch. There may be some increase in the wind speed, but our specialists are telling us that everything is going to be nominal. So there will be no changes to our launch preparations. So, guys, good luck. Good flight, good mission, and, of course, we hope you come back home safe, sound, and in high spirits. The vehicle is ready. The iPhone is in container 350. Everything needs to be charged. So, guys, good luck to you, and soft landing when you come back. Dear head of the State Commission, our space flight participant mission is ready. The commander is ready. Thank you. And getting some in cabin views now from inside of the Soyuz. On the right side of your screen is space flight participant Yusaku Mayazawa. To his left is Soyuz Commander Alexander Mazurkin. We confirm order sequence initiated. Copy. Order sequence initiated. The second umbilical is now retracting. Engine ignition. Turbo pumps coming up to flight speed. Second umbilical tower separates engine turbo pumps at flight speed. Engine and liftoff. Liftoff of the Soyuz MS-20 with two Japanese spaceflight participants and a Russian cosmonaut now beginning their journey to the International Space Station. Rocket parameters are nominal. Everything's fine on board. We're feeling great.
30 seconds into flight, crews are reporting good first stage performance. Not intelligible. Forty seconds of flight, the vehicle is stable. Inside the Soyuz, Commander Alexander Mazurkin in the center, and on his right, Yusaku Mayazawa. Second Sage Booster. We confirm, nose cone fairing, jettisoning. Copy. And we confirm at five, control descent. And confirmation of the launch shroud jettison. The rocket's out altitude now about 49 miles high, traveling at a speed of about 5,203 miles per hour. The vehicle is stable. Getting a view now from the Soyuz booster. We confirm second stage separation. Second stage separation is confirmed. Separation and thrust activation. Copy. Third stage engine is up and running, everything looking good, now traveling just over 9,500 miles per hour and 100 miles in altitude. Five twenty seconds of flight, all parameters are nominal, and stand by for contact separation. Third stage shutdown confirmed, and spacecraft separation confirmed. Next step will be the deployment of the solar arrays, and you can see those solar arrays unfolding now. Altair, this is MCC Moscow. And we now have confirmation the solar arrays and the navigational antennas have been deployed as planned. Moscow, Altair, how copy? Loud and clear. How was the separation? Everything went nominal, nominally. Copy. KDO repress is done. Editor is closed and LED is not illuminated. BVS is primed. SKDO is also illuminated. Thermal sensors are on. And I am moving to KG display. RPV-1 and 2 valves, please close. Copy. RPV-1 and 2 valves are closed. Copy. You'll continue to see a few more replays of launch. Again, liftoff occurring at 1.38 and 15 seconds a.m. Central Time. Eight minutes and 46 seconds into flight was third stage shutdown and separation on the 2.1A booster, with the solar arrays and navigational antennas having been deployed. The Soyuz MS-20 is on its way to the International Space Station. Maizawa and Morano are making their journey into space under a contract between Space Adventures and Roscosmos. The crew will turn to Earth, will return to Earth on December 19th U.S. time, December 20th Kazakhstan time, in the MS-20 vehicle they are launching in today. Start time one more time. 
12.10 and till when? 12.32. Copy. 12.32. And please write down. For 11.25.00, you are going to uh, start attitude build. KSR. Copy. KSR is at 11.25. And there's our first view of the Soyuz MS-20. Closing in on the International Space Station on the tail end of its four-orbit, six-hour journey. 1430. And the uh, range rate is uh, three Three-nil. meters per second. Copy. The Soyuz and the International Space Station just flew into an orbital sunrise over the South Pacific. The Soyuz is currently conducting a series of impulse burns. Those burns are small thruster firings from the engine that will enable the Soyuz to more precisely fine-tune its course to the International Space Station. now under two minutes away from the fly around by the Soyuz. Again, that milestone comes about 400 meters from the station. Stand by uh, for uh, final approach envelope. 400 Range is 400 meters. And I confirm that uh, uh, we, uh, that the mode uh, has changed to that of fly around. Uh, depot operation indication is on. Uh, fly, around, fly around plane uh, is uh, being generated. Range is 370 meters, and range rate is one meter per second. Uh, please report when you see that uh, car uh, 15 indication is illuminated. Uh, yes, will do. Current range is 220 meters. Uh, range rate is 0.17. Uh, input one, uh, control panel input one uh, is uh, uh, being rebooted. At 16.22.20, is that uh, correct time of the reboot? Yes. And was it a uh, random reboot? Uh, yes, correct. Copy. Soyuz now 200 meters away from the International Space Station. Current range is 180 meters. Uh, range rate is zero. Uh, Raw uh, maneuver is uh, uh, about to be completed. Copy. Approach flag set on both vehicles, copy. The roll maneuver you just heard orients the solar arrays for the docking position. Uh, along the x-axis is also confirmed. And uh, uh, <coughs> we're waiting for a final approach. Current range is 180 meters and range rate 0.7. And we have confirmation that final approach has been initiated. Russian flight controllers are happy with the alignment. 
And again, that final approach has been initiated. Centimeters is the range. 0 0.3 uh, meters per second is the rate, and uh, the panel decided to reboot uh, itself once again. Copy. Now just under 70 meters separating the Soyuz and the International Space Station. Sixty meters is the range. The range rate is point twenty six. I can see the target in the center of the crosshairs. Copy. The crosshairs and crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Thirty-four meters is the range, and the rate is 0 0.9. The target is in the center, and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. You can see the Soyuz docking probe on the bottom of your screen. Thirty meters is the range, and the range rate is 0 0.8. 0 0.08. The target is in the center. Crosshairs are aligned. The range is 14 meters. The crosshairs are aligned and the target is in the center. Copy. Twelve meters. The target is in the center. The range rate is 0 0.12 meters per second. The target width is two squares. Crosshairs are aligned. The target is in the center. Two point five squares is the width of the target. We're standing by for the contact. The crosshairs are aligned. The target is in the center. Standing by for contact. Contact is confirmed. Wow. And uh, also we have a docking interface. In contact and capture confirmed at 7.40 a.m. Central Time, 8.40 a.m. Eastern Time as the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-20 flew 260 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. Faru.
Deactivate the headlight, Alexander. This is Moscow. Now we'll stand by for the relative motion between the vehicle and the station to slow down before the docking probe is retracted on the Soyuz to enable hooks to close to form a hard mate between the Soyuz and the International Space Station. Yes, that's correct. 126 in number 1203 uh, is in the second session section. It's propellant. The Soyuz hatch opening is now underway. And the Soyuz hatch is now open at 10, 11 a.m. Central Time, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. First in, Soyuz Commander Alexander Mazurkin. Next is spaceflight participant Yusaku Mayazawa. And the final crew member to cross the hatch, Yozo Hirano. Again, the Soyuz hatch opened at 10, 11 a.m. Central Time. Now 10 residents aboard the International Space Station. Moscow Station and SG-2, we are ready. We congratulate you wholeheartedly. We are happy to see the entire crew together. Thank you for your work. Please take, take time to rest. And Alexander, we still have some ops to do in this Soyuz. So we will continue after that. Now you can uh, deactivate the setup and Piotr, you can uh, restore nominal com config. Copy in work. Moving on to SG1. Good copy.